Let's talk a little bit about this GTN 650, this new touch screen. It's basically a 430 with touch screen. But uh, to say it that way is uh, an understatement. This is the latest and greatest oh, from, yeah. from the, the Garmin folks. Uh, this is the home page. So you'll notice it doesn't have any buttons at all. It has uh, a banner down here, enunciators. It has touch screen items. It really just has one double knob, one volume push for squelch control, and uh, a home key and a direct key. So if we go home, we get this page. All right. We can flick down to the next row. Oops, I flicked bad that way. Oh, yeah, so or we could use the up-down arrow, which is a little more positive. Uh, we've got a map, self-explanatory. We've got a traffic page, which in this application we don't really need in. because we got this geosynchronous delight here, the Avidine MFD. I'm sure Garmin would rather it be a G1000. Uh, we have terrain. Again, uh, not a real solid feature for our application because we have terrain Office here. Uh, Center on the Avidine MFD. MFD. We can go back. We can go weather. And we have some options there. But again, weather's displayed on here. So some of these common features aren't really all that useful. I think what we'll find is that we'll be using flight plan, procedure, map, and nearest, not necessarily in that order. Number four, Bravo, Bravo, climb, maintain one zero. The fault nav is kind of neat. You can press right. that, and you get uh, four, four, Bravo, Bravo, some Bravo, data about your next bound. fix, and you get an electronic CDI. Okay, you get to change the CDI here yeah. from yeah. GPS yeah. to VLOC and yeah. back again. You can also you also have an OBS key, which is interesting. Um, just uh, works just the same way as the OBS button on the 430. Uh, the map really is not all that useful for us because again we got the map up here. Oh, okay. So in this installation, since we have two of them, I'd recommend that you cross fill them, which is what we're doing, and that you consider displaying flight plan on one page and the default nav on the other, which is a press and hold feature to get to that uh, default. Okay. No matter where you oh, are. Oh, you don't even have to go. Right. So you're about to go back default. You just press an all and it goes back. I don't know that. Now, one of the things uh, that we actually had to read the book to figure out was uh, how to get the VCALC. They don't call it VNAV. There's no VNAV button, but as we know now, it's in utilities, as is trip planning, fuel planning, true airspeed winds. And again, a lot of this is overkill for us because we have this information computed for us automatically. Rain prediction, flight timers, uh, and of course VCALC right here. Taxis 24, roger, stand by for now. Descending We've set up 1,500 feet above the waypoint, zero. five miles from the airport, just for a VFR a visual arrival. And uh, that's commanding a 218 foot per minute descent rate now, which is uh, uh, not robust enough. Taxi so we want to go down somewhere between 800 two. and 1,200 feet a minute, depending on weather. Today it's pretty smooth, unlike Taxi yesterday. Two four, descend so far, so good. So we've had uh, asked it for 1,000 feet a minute. That'll Taxi happen in an hour and 15, 15 right minutes. There. That's the intro to the, uh, the GTN650 Garmin. There's, of course, a menu page as well, which is... Uh, uh, unique to each page. Very nice. Oh. The defaults can be set up in here, just like before. Cactus two uh, four contact Albuquerque Center one three two point eight. We can do uh, direct and activate. We can load a flight plan with procedure. Driller, 4-5, Albuquerque Center. It knows we're going to Albuquerque, so we can choose an approach. In this particular inst installation, we have the winds at Albuquerque here on the METAR page. We see the winds are uh, out of the, uh, the southeast now, so we want to choose a runway that's consistent with that. And uh, so let's see what all they got. 
So I'm thinking maybe 1-7. And so just for kicks, we'll load vectors to final in anticipation of that, uh, of that happening.